Welcome to Affinity Photo. We're going to take a quick look at creating seamless textures, which you can then go on to use in 3D applications such as modeling and game development. So we've got a basic ground texture here, and typically when working with textures, we tend to work to a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So we'll go ahead, select the Crop tool, and select a one-to-one -one ratio here. Then we'll just resize this and we can sort of shuffle it along the image until we get a, an area that we want to use then commit the crop okay now the next important step is to flatten this cropping is non-destructive so essentially you're just shrinking the canvas size so all that image information still exists and as we're going to use a filter that essentially offsets the image position we don't want it to be using this additional information. So all we need to do is go to Document, Flatten. Okay, that's taken care of that. So then we want to go to Filters, Distort, and Affine. And to begin working on our seamless texture, all we need to do is enter 50% for the X and Y offsets, like so, and click Apply. So you'll see here, we've got some obvious joins in the image. These were previously the edges of the image. So then what we're going to do is select the clone tool, increase the brush size, bring the hardness down all the way. Then essentially, we just need to alt click and begin cloning over these obvious gaps in the image. And we want to kind of make sure to sample from and mix in with different areas just to avoid the texture work looking too obvious and repetitive. Then, if we go in and just do some bigger stamps of the clone brush, we can try and eliminate the repetitive patchy look some more. OK, so once we've covered up all the seams, we then want to go back to Filters, Distort, and define. Then this time, because we used positive values the first time round, we'll use minus 50% for the X and Y offset and click apply. And there we go, we now have a seamless texture that we can export and use in another application. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.